Cause you know what day it is It's Tuesday And Tuesday Means pen turning I'm gonna do this week's intro for you in song I have a pen kit and a piece of zebra wood. I'm gonna make a pen well recorded for a video. That's about it. Okay, I'm going to do a small bit of narration here just to explain what I'm doing. Right here I'm using a roughing gouge just to sort of knock the corners off the blanks. And here I'm still using that same roughing gouge and I'm just still bringing down the very ends of the blanks to the diameter of the bushings. And every now and then I kind of feel it with my finger to see if it's good or not, if it's close. And I'll stop when it's just about a hair's width away from the diameter of the bushings. And then I just sort of use a my low fluted spindle gouge, which I'm using right here, to kind of curve everything over and make it nice and smooth. Then I sand it with 150, 240, 320, 400, 600, and 800. I'm almost ready to apply my CA finish, but you're going to have a bit of trouble trying to separate the pen blanks from the bushings once you put on your CA glue finish. So what I like to do to solve this problem is take a bit of wax, this is uh, beeswax, and just uh, wipe it on the bushings and that will help them separate. Okay, right here I'm using a medium CA with an activator and I just put a dab on the paper towel. Wipe, I always wipe from the middle because that way it won't get too gummed up on the bushings and I just spread it around real quick. You don't want to linger too long, otherwise it might dry quickly and it could grab. Spray it with activator and wait for it to dry all the way and put on the next coat. I think I went up to about three coats with this stuff. After that I sanded everything nice and smooth until there were no more shiny spots. With a 320 to start, once I realized there was no more shiny spots left, I moved up to 400, 600, 800. After that, I went through all my Micromesh pads to start to polish it up. Micromesh starts at 1500 and goes up through, I think it's like 9 grits, all the way up to 12,000. And you always wet sand with this stuff, or at least I do, to keep the dust down. I'm using a buffing compound to finish it up with. This will really bring out a super high gloss. And you can see here I just wipe it on by hand first. And then I start turning it at around 700 and I will hand crank the speed up to 1500 as I see it get shinier and shinier. And what happens is the buffing compound will get finer and finer and leave a smaller sand scratch and it really shines it up nice. Okay, now I'm going to be assembling the pen. You can decide now what part you want to be your top half and what you want to be your bottom half. I want this to be my bottom half, so I'm just going to take the writing tip, place it in there, set my pen press, center that up as best I can. And 
and drive it home. There you go. Now I should mention that you don't need a pen press. I am lucky enough to have a pen press. They're very easy to use. They're kind of nice to have. But basically you just need something with enough leverage to press these parts in. You can use your drill press or a vise or a quick action clamp or something like that or your lathe, which is what I prefer to use, is the tailstock on my lathe. So, just keep that in mind. Next step is to press in the twist mechanism. Just goes into the line. So just press it in maybe a little bit past that because these aren't generally accurate. And the twist refill never really comes out enough when you just stop at the line. So it comes out all the way and it goes back in all the way and that's exactly what we want. Now we're going to move on to the top half assembly and I'm just going to use that specialty clip I have. Place the top of the pen in there. Now I usually use a small dab of CA glue just to hold it in because these generally will come loose after a while. I've seen it happen to some of my pens, like ones I have or my father. I made one for him and his always comes loose. So I usually put a little quick dab of CA glue on there just to keep it from coming out. You really got to work quick when you have that on there though. And that, that always holds it in so it doesn't come loose and the pen clip doesn't start spinning around. So then the center band just goes on like so. And I'm going to try to line up the green like I had it. It goes like this. And that's it. This pen was made out of zebra wood, finished with CA, polished up to a nice shine. And I used that specialty pen clip and it's all in chrome. And I for one think this came out very well. I'll post some pictures at the end of the video if you want to see it in more detail. This pen will be for sale in my eBay store. And if it's not, it depends on the time you watch this video. If you watch it right away, it'll still be up there. But if it's not up there, it probably means that it's sold or I might have, I might have ended the listing. So it's it might not be up there by the time you check. But chances are a lot of other cool pens will be up there and nice wooden stuff that you can buy that I made myself. And all that money will go towards my shop and me. It'll kind of support me and give me the money I need to buy my tools and pursue my hobby. And I think that's about it. So check back next Friday. I'll have my regular video up. And thank you for watching.